We're all determined to prevent this conflict from spreading. This goes to the principal responsibility of the Security Council, maintaining international peace and security. A broader conflict would be devastating, not only for Palestinians and Israelis, but for people across the region and, indeed, around the world. To that end, we call on all member states to send a firm, united message to any state or non-state actor that is considering opening another front in this conflict against Israel, or who may target Israel's partners, including the United States. Don't, don't throw fuel on the fire. Members of this Council, and permanent members in particular, have a special responsibility to prevent this conflict from spreading. I look forward to continuing to work with my counterpart from the People's Republic of China to do precisely that when he visits Washington later this week. At the heart of our efforts to save innocent lives in this conflict, and in every conflict for that matter, is our core belief that every civilian life is equally valuable. There is no hierarchy when it comes to protecting civilian lives. A civilian is a civilian is a civilian, no matter his or her nationality, ethnicity, age, gender, faith. We're grateful to Qatar, to Egypt, to the ICRC, for helping secure the release of four of Hamas's hostages, but at least 200 more, and again, from many of our nations, are still in the grip of Hamas. So, again, I implore every member here, use your voice, use your influence, use your leverage to secure their unconditional and immediate release.